welcome back to another one of my Pandora Charm videos. I hope you're having a wonderful day and you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be doing a design with me because it's been a minute, like it's been a while since I've done a design with me video and I know you guys love seeing them. So in this video, basically, I just did a purchase at Pandora. So I'm going to be showing you how I styled my new additions to my collection on a bangle bracelet. So I think this is actually my first design with me with a bangle. So it'll be something a little different and nothing is planned. This is just going to be what's kind of going on in my head, like my thinking process of how I kind of design and plan out a bracelet. So who knows what's going to happen with these pieces, but I'm excited to share them with you. And if you guys have any suggestions like throughout the video of design ideas or charms you think might look good with this, please let me know because I love hearing your thoughts and opinions on them. So without further ado, I'll first show you my little haul of what I got, which I think will be really fun. All right, so I zoomed you guys in a little closer so we can take a look at my little Pandora haul. So in Canada, we had a promotion that if you spend $125, you get $75 towards a purchase. Now this year, what was neat is you can put this $75 towards multiple items in store. Um, E-store wise, you can't. But if you go into the store, you definitely can, which makes this deal incredible um, if, you're, if you go to the actual store because you can get a little bit more for your money. So the only things that were excluded, I believe, were Disney, Shine, and bracelets. Um, there might have been something else. But luckily um, for this purchase, I didn't need any of those items, so it's all good. So I went in wanting to start a summer theme type of bracelet. Just because a lot of my bracelets, like they're pretty seasonal, like not seasonal, like I can wear them year round for the most part. And even some of the other ones I still wear year round. <laughs> I wanted something really fun and vibrant and this was just gonna be the perfect thing. So I'm excited because we'll open her up. Oops, and the petite's falling. <laughs> okay, I got the petite. So I ended up getting, if you can see, I got the two Rainbow Muranos. These were a must for me from the spring collection, but I finally just got around to picking them up. And this charm in the center, which is a little hard to see right now, but don't worry, I'll zoom in. I got the Aqua Heart. Now this one I completely overlooked um, when I saw images online. I never paid it much attention. And when we were looking around the store, um, I was kind of looking around debating if I wanted to still purchase without the Ferris wheel, if there was another charm I wanted. The problem was is there are charms on my wish list, but I really wanted to do the summer bracelet. Um, so I really wanted a special centerpiece charm. And that's what the Ferris wheel was originally going to be. Then I saw this charm on a bracelet in one of their displays. I had no idea what it was, but it was beautiful. And the fellow who was helping me was so sweet, he, he didn't even know which charm I was talking about, so he had to come over and he brought it out and I just knew it was perfect. It looked beautiful with those colors. So the two Rainbow Muranos and the Aqua Heart <clears throat> are my new purchases. And then I also got, which is gonna be so hard for you guys to see, <laughs> but I got the Petite Crown. I think that's the name, I think it's just called Crown. It's beautiful and I love the detail. And it's just so simple, so I think it's gonna look really pretty. I'll also show you guys how I style this at the end. We'll kind of do a mini floating locket design with me too, because I'm really excited to play around with that piece. All right, so now I'm just gonna take off these pieces and we'll start to do the design with me. So I'm really excited, you guys. Really looking forward to seeing how this is gonna turn out. Oh my gosh, just look how pretty this Murano is. The detail on that is just stunning. We're definitely gonna be designing with the Aqua Heart, the two Muranos, and then I'm gonna show you guys what else I'm thinking. So let me just show you here. Now I grabbed the silver heart charms. I forget the name. I think they're open work hearts. That might not be the proper name, but they're a very classic Pandora piece. And this is one I really recommend for 
purchasing anything that's very simple in silver because they're going to work with a variety of different designs. And these ones I purposely got so that depending on the season or a holiday or what I'm designing, I can incorporate these on so many different styles and themes. So they're definitely a great purchase and they're usually quite inexpensive for the open work like all silver charms. And they look so beautiful on so many different designs. Now the other two charms I definitely have to put on to go with the rainbow theme is the Love Arcs and the Multicolored. They're really beautiful and they have such lovely colors that echo the nice pave design in the heart and as well as in the Rainbow Murano. So I think those are gonna be a really pretty style so you guys can see it here. Now what's cute about these two is they're a heart shape. If you guys can see, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but they're a cute little heart shape, which I love. I think that's so pretty, and they have two little hearts at the top. And that kind of echoes the hearts in these ones. So I love little details like that, and Pandora's great for doing that. So those work so nicely together too. So really excited to see how those are gonna to come together. Now I also am gonna be using a Pandora bangle. This is just the classic bangle. Um, plain Pandora moments head very simple and this is the 17 centimeter um, that's the bangle size I normally wear on my wrist and I think it's going to be able to definitely you know fit all these charms now I am thinking about adding some additional charms but I don't like to add too many on a bangle so let me just see what else we have I'm just going to open my little jewelry box here. Let's see. Left the tray up. <laughs> Look at all those Pandora goodies. So you guys can't see what I'm looking at, but let me just quickly see what we have to grab in here. You know, these are really pretty. The Shine Muranos. They kind of look like clouds, so that could echo the detail with that, but I don't know how it'll feel on my wrist with the Muranos like four Muranos, so we'll have to see. What else do I have that wouldn't work? This is really pretty, because it has a touch of blue in it. That could look really pretty on the bracelet too. Although, the only one I have to kind of echo in detail to it is the Forget-Me-Not. And I don't know, seeing these together, I start to feel like these don't belong as much. So, I'm, and these don't really, like that on its own, I think looks really cool. But I don't know, when I have those two, I feel like it takes away. So I'm going to put these on the maybes. I'll put those on my maybes. And you know, guys, what's funny is, like, all of these, except these two, they're all from the Pandora Spring 2018 collection. I'm designing my summer bracelet. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> but that's all right, because you got to design with what you love. Now, for the summer collection, though, on that note, I do have the popcorn. This was released summer 2018. And I have the drink to go, which is also super cute. And it's right there. So those could work for the summer theme. Now, I just need to think of exactly what kind of summer I'm going for. And the thing with these ones, this is like how I kind of see them. For me, it's like those really beautiful summer days. You're walking outside, the sun is in the sky, it's bright blue, bright blue sky, beautiful little clouds drifting away in that summer breeze, and you just feel so good. You feel so happy and joyful and just free. And that's kind of the summer I want to capture in this bracelet. I love going to the park. I love grabbing a little tea, reading a book, taking it easy, and I love hiking. I love, love hiking and exploring outside in forests and around rivers or lakes. And that's one of the reasons why I love that Aqua Heart. It really captures that lovely view that you see at the end of your hike and that beautiful summer breeze. Just because of the lines and the detail, it just makes me think of a breeze and the river flowing, things like that. So I love that about this this charm in particular. I love the little fun colors in this too and just kind of vibrant of the summertime. So maybe that is technically what I'm going for in this bracelet since these are the bulk of it. It's the feeling of summer or the feeling of summer for me. 
because I don't really have any beachy type charms or you know the more of the the true summery type charms. I'm not a big huge beach person like I like the beach and everything but it's not like I'd rather go on a hike or read in a park or have a nice picnic um, in the park maybe. I guess I'm not huge huge beach person so this is probably more in lines with a summer bracelet for me so we're going to a good place <laughs> okay so what I like to do when I have a bunch of charms and I'm trying to figure out what kind of design I want to do I like to line them all up I don't have an actual rod like those little silver rods that I use to or some people use sorry to put them on I just put mine in the middle and I kind of line them up so I can get a good idea so that's something I would recommend to you guys so here we go. So I'm going to put the aqua heart in the middle. Uh, sorry, the middle. This is for sure a beautiful centerpiece charm. I think it's just perfect. I think beside it roughly, I'm going to put my two Muranos. Now, if I had spacers, I wonder do I have any spacers I would use for this? My T bracelet has spacers, but... Mm, That could look pretty, but I look so good on this one too. I'm tempted, you guys, because I could put the twice as nice spacers here and here. That could look really pretty. Okay, I'm going to think about that. Let me just play around a little more. Now I could put the love arcs here, but they're clips. So I think they're better suited to go at the end of the bracelet. Plus it's so much pave cubic zirconia right in the middle. I want to kind of spread that out. So I'm going to put that over here. Next we have our little hearts. Now I could put them here. But you know what? They're kind of, they go up higher than the heart and I'm worried that you're not really going to appreciate this heart as much because it's almost too much so maybe they could go here oh you know what I like how that looks I think that looks pretty that in and of itself looks really beautiful so if you guys can kind of see that's roughly the idea I'm going for now sometimes I leave it with the clips here and I'll put like an extra charm on the outside that so kind of moves around more so we could put our drink to go and we could put the popcorn. The only thing is, is I'm not sure the pale pink completely works with this. I mean, it totally can, but I don't know if it really goes to that feeling of summer because these are more like activities. And oh, by the way, I love going to the movies with my husband. That's one of our favorite things to do all year round, not just this summer. So I had to get this charm. It's too cute, the little popcorn and the pearls. Oh my goodness, so cute. So that could work. I'm gonna take a sip of tea because I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> and it would be cute to have these on because they are summer charms. But it doesn't mean you have to put them on. Okay, I'm gonna put them here for now have those Muranos too. I could put them over here. And the shine, like the yellow is kind of neat. It's kind of like the sun and it matches a little bit of the yellow in here. That could work too. I'm just not sure if I'm going to like how it feels. Okay, the best thing to do is just to put them on the bracelet see how it looks. These ones I'm already thinking, I don't think they're going to work with what I want. Let's just see though. Yeah, I don't like them. I think because everything else is really clean, they're the only oxidized ones. I just don't think they work on this particular style. So I'm going to put them back in the box. Okay, so we have these guys on and I'm just going to take my guitar clip. This is great because it just goes inside and it opens it up. So it's a great little way to open up your clips if you don't want to get the clasp opener. 
because it's so affordable and it works just as well. And it's better than chipping your nail. Okay, so we've opened up the clips. Now we're just gonna put them on the bracelet. So we're clip it in place. And we're gonna clip this one in place. Now, I, like I said, I'm gonna let these two stay loose because I think that's gonna look pretty. Now we just need to center it. Sorry, I know it's probably hard for you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna center this to make sure the heart lines up. We're gonna have that face this way. Now I do like them to move a little bit, so I'm just gonna bring the safety chain, or safety chain, the clips out a little bit. That's roughly centered. I actually think that looks really pretty, you guys. What do you guys think? Because I, then I do have some of the 2018 summer charms on with the spring. And they actually look really cute. They add just an, a fun little cute element to it. And that's kind of echoed in the Rainbow Mirano's too. I actually really think that's sweet. And if I were to get the Ferris wheel, I could put the Ferris wheel over here and maybe add a different charm over here at some point too. So I'm really liking that. Let me just see what this looks like on my wrist. All right, so that's what it looks like on my wrist. It's looking really pretty. And you can see the other two charms are just hanging out more so near the back of the bracelet. But it looks really pretty. It looks Oh, I love that pop of blue. It definitely is super, super fun. And you know the other thing too though, you guys? It looks beautiful on its own without the popcorn and, and the to-go cup. Don't you guys think? That looks so pretty on its own, that own little statement. Because these look pretty and everything with it. But it, it just looks so beautiful just with these. The, Okay, I'm tempted just to see it without without the popcorn. You guys have to let me know. Do you like it with the popcorn and drink to go or without? Let's just, let's see. And let me know what you think because I'm, who knows what I'm going to decide to do with this. So let's take this off. And we'll just pretend this one's off. I don't know, you guys. I think that looks beautiful just on its own. It's very simple and elegant. I actually really, really like how that looks. That's beautiful too. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, let's just for fun, just so we can kind of compare, what does it look like with the Murano? Oh, the Murano actually looks nice too. Okay, you know what? We gotta start from the beginning. Let's put both Muranos on. Murano, ooh, that looks really pretty too. <laughs> I might even just put them together with this. And now we'll just center this a little. Move that. Then we have that one. I'm not going to do it up. I just want to kind of... Mm, I think it might... Like, it, it fits me. So I definitely can do that. But I think it stands up a little more. Hmm. I think I still am leaning more towards having this bracelet just without the additional pieces. So we'll take these back off. Okay, so I like it to have a little bit of movement here because I like how this sound makes. So you can see it has a little bit. I love that, guys. I think that's perfect. I don't think for sure we don't need these. I'm going to put those back. And I could take those safety chain, like the, sorry, on um, the spacers off, but I'm really liking how this looks. So I don't think I need to do that. Maybe at some point I can think about it. Now my only debate is, it. I think it looked fine having these two charms on it, but there's just something really simple and beautiful just with this on its own. So I think I'm going to leave it like this, but I'm so curious to know what you guys think. Do you think I, do it look good with these on? Do you think I can get away? Or do you guys prefer it like this? This is the one I'm leaning more towards. 
I just think it looks really pretty on its own. So I'm gonna try it on, put it on my wrist. There we go. Oh my goodness, it looks so pretty. I love that pop of blue. That blue is just stunning, you guys. And there we have it, that's my summer bracelet. <laughs> So now we're gonna do a really fun design with this cute little crown petite. It's so dainty and cute. I just love how that looks. It's so sweet and it's so tiny. So I'm gonna pop it into my floating locket. Now I don't have tweezers, I'm just gonna use my fingers. <laughs> and I think this is gonna look so sweet with the Disney charms. So do a little Mickey and little Mickey and Minnie heart. Oops. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. It kind of makes me think of one of the Disney princess crowns. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, that looks really pretty. It looks really sweet. Normally I put this with the star, which is right here, but I really love how it looks with the crown. So you know what? I think that's a keeper for sure. Oh, but I don't know which one, which one would I wear for Disneyland? Cause hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna be able to go because we're planning to go in September. I'm just waiting on some health things. But hopefully if everything goes according to plan, I'll be able to go. Um, so I definitely want to bring my floating locket to have like a more Disney feel. Oh no, now I'm torn. I love both. I think right now I'm leaning more towards this just probably because it's new. Which one do you guys like better? The star or the little crown? I think, I think I'm liking the crown. Now I could technically put them all together, but then they don't float around as much. And they kind of look a little crowded to me. Yeah, it looks a little crowded, but hey, if I really wanted to do both, I could do that. I think I'm leaning more towards the little princess crown. I think that looks, I love the star too, don't get me wrong, because it's magical, but there's something also magical about the tiara. Oh no, you guys will have to help me decide which one is better, I'm not sure. Now besides designing it just with Disney, let's see, I could do it with this little heart. That would look really pretty. The heart and the angel maybe. Oh, that looks cute. And we could do the heart and the flower. Oh, that also looks very feminine. That looks really pretty too. I don't know if you guys can see, <laughs> but it looks really pretty. There's that one. So some ideas there too. And that's it for the design with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was certainly fun for me to film. And I also wanna thank you so much for all your love and support on each and every one of my videos and on Instagram. You guys are just so sweet and you honestly make my day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.